Hey guys, it's Ross Scott on the Space Coach today. I don't know if you recall in yesterday's video when we were going through this, some of the ship sketches I said looked familiar and I thought I had seen the developed version in the chronology of spaceflight. So I think we're going to check that out right now. So let's see. The first one that I saw <coughs> from the sketchbook is this one here. If you see that there, you see how it's kind of a bit like a submarine in its design there and obviously we have seen that ship in um the original series it's the khan ship so i will just show you this from here the chronology of space light there it is actually that is the later version sorry um it's this one there you go the dy 100 that was in service from 1995 and is getting phased out next year I'm sure, like you, I've thoroughly enjoyed all my flights between Earth and the Moon on that. <laughs> so that's the USS, uh, sorry, just the SS Copernicus. It's a sublight explorer. And um, that other one was the 500 series. So I'll just show you there. Similar, but slightly different. The cargo modules and all that sort of thing have been rearranged. So it's really interesting ship design. And it still looks quite contemporary now. So we shall then see some more. You see another sketch here. It is that same style here. So that might be the DY500 there. And I'm sure we've seen these in some of the films and stuff. Just the little one-man pods that zip about the various space stations. So in this bit, the search for the Enterprise, where I saw some of it, there you just see some cross-sections. But... This was the one that immediately leapt to mind, and this one, in fact, and I will show you in a moment. And possibly even the bottom one, I'm not certain. I think that might be in here. So first of all, we'll look for this, this ring ship, we'll call it. Just take me a moment just to pace through to find it. That's a bit further in than I thought it was. <laughs> Should be coming up to it soon. Yes. There. Warp 3.2 Starliner. And this was also called the Enterprise. And you do see this, you know when they do that model lineup of all the ships on the captain's desk or whatever? This is always one of them as well. I do love that design. It does remind me, or rather, the, ship, the ring ship from Battlestar Galactica reminds me of that design. So yes, that was the Declaration class. In service from 2123 to 2165. So the other one I saw was the big round one. Where is it? Right. Um, is that that one? Oh, it's upside down here. So this one, oh, you see here. It's essentially this, after some design changes, the USS Endurance of the Man class. It's a very interesting ship. It's just basically, it's just the big globe with the engines sticking out. Which other ones did we have that were similar to those? Let me see. Yes, I think that's one of them also. Um, yes. This one here. You see that design, how it's kind of like a squared off version, as it were, of the Enterprise. Is essentially, I believe, this. The USS Moscow, which is a warp 4.8 cruiser. Now, what else was there? Sure, there's at least one other. Let me see. Firstly, however, <clears throat> you will recognise this design. This is from the original sketches. The ship we do not speak of. <laughs> that is clearly what the discovery has been based on, that original sketch there. You see other iterations of it. This one, it looks like a swan or something. Um, but yes, they do have the discovery there, the original concept anyway. Now, let me see, were there any others? 
I think that was about it. The others are basically just iterations of the Enterprise that you can see there. But there was um, a triple engined one. And I'm pretty sure we have seen that in various versions of Star Trek. And I think even in Discovery, they have that as well. So you also see that one there, which is quite interesting. I don't think there was a direct comparison in here. Let me see. No, I don't think there was. So what's the one other maybe that I wanted to see? Oh, no, I think these are all a bit earlier. I just wanted to just find the Triton, I think it was. Yeah, there's another one of those triple engined ones as well. So yes, I just thought we would just compare the original designs to the concept art uh, for the canon that they came up with. I assume this is probably still canon, it might not be. But it's good to see that those concepts do get recycled. Like in Star Wars, we see the always sooner or later we'll use the original concept. But yes, very interesting ship designs and I do like how they made it um, into other works. So yes, more Star Trek ships thoroughly enjoyed. I'll have to see if there's an updated version of the ship's guide um, because it's been ages since I've checked out the Star Trek ships and what other iterations of different ships there could be. That might be a task for the future. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.